Come on. Oh yeah. In this tiny little cup there is one tarantula. A tarantula species that is currently one of the most expensive one and one of the rarest, if not the rarest tarantula in the hobby. But unfortunately there is currently a bit of drama in regards to these species. Hi, editing Petko here. I just realized that I forgot to mention that I bought the spider from the Spiders World EU, so shout out to them. And also uh, the next few minutes I will spend talking about the situation with the tarantula and take everything that I say with a reserve because that is just my opinion and maybe I have some facts wrong, I'm not sure. And if you're just here to see the tarantula, here is the timestamp so we can just jump there and see the actual tarantula and not listen to me talk about it. Yeah, back to the video. I'm not like 100% familiar with everything that is happening in regards to this species, but I will tell you what I know and what is my opinion on the, the whole situation, the whole subject. And also one note, I reserved this tarantula a few months ago before all the drama even started. This is a new tarantula species and it was recently described like a month or two, two months ago, not sure on the, the complete timetable, but it was recently described. And because of that it kind of got in the center of attention when it comes to the whole catching wild tarantulas in the nature for the for the hobby. Apparently people are debating that biologists that describe this species actually acquired it illegally through the illegal pet trade, but then I read that they are stating that that's not the case, that's not the fact, so I don't know what is the what is the truth and what is false information. I have no idea what it is, but that's, that was the reason why all the drama started. And then people started bashing those who are going in the nature and bringing new species, new torrential species. I personally also am not a fan of wild caught animals. I believe that once you establish some animal species in the in the captivity and you are able to reproduce that animals, they should no longer be taken out of the nature in order for to sell it in the hobby. I strongly believe in that. So what is the case with this one? This is a brand new species, so that means that the species is not established in the hobby. And the only way to get into the hobby is for someone to go there, collect it and bring it back. That is how it works. That is how it worked all these years. Every new species that came into a hobby basically came like that. Someone went there and took tarantulas out of their natural habitat and brought it to the hobby and then later on reproduced them or whatever. So I don't really understand why are people all of a sudden surprised by this species being brought from the nature into captivity kinda illegally. What is the surprise there if that is how this hobby worked for all the years? I don't Maybe maybe I'm wrong I don't know, but I think that most of the species that a lot of you bought came like that in the hobby. That is just how it is. I'm not saying that that is completely all right, but that is how it worked and that is how it works at the moment. So I don't really understand all the drama in regards to these species. What do you think how Celadonias came into the hobby? They didn't magically appear there. How the electric blue came into the hobby? How to do all the Solaris species came to the hobby? And they were really, really, really expensive. Same thing, I believe. Maybe I'm wrong, but for now, that is the information that I have. <laughs> so screaming to others how that is wrong is not really a solution, if you're, especially if you are in the hobby and have some newer species for yourself. You are supporting that. We all that are in the hobby support that business. And that is just how it is. Should some things change? Absolutely. The biggest problem is bureaucracy, I believe, because you cannot just say I will go into nature, I will take like, I don't know, 20 females, 5 males, bring them into hobby and then we will reproduce them and no one will no longer go and grab any new tarantulas from the nature. It's not how that works. You cannot just do that and get like permission for that, I believe. Maybe I shouldn't even be making this video if I'm not like 100% sure, but this is just how, what the information that I have, at least I read on the forums, I read on the Facebook groups, what people are saying. That is where I base my understanding of the situation. In order to change this situation, you cannot simply just ban stuff because banning stuff never works. There will always be a demand for new thing. People will always be willing to 
pay great amounts to get new spiders, new tarantulas. That is just, I, I guess, human nature. That is how we are. And also a lot of people are pissed because new species, new tarantula species are always really, really expensive and majority cannot get them. So that is also one source of frustration. But it is just basic economy, basic supply and demand. If you have only a few specimens and everyone wants those few specimens, of course, that sellers can sell them to uh, to the one that it is offering, that is offering the most, right? And whoever says that he wouldn't do it like that, he wouldn't be selling a tarantula for $500 if he just could sell it for five hundred dollars, that is that is basically a lie because that person that is saying that was never in that situation to have that opportunity. So yeah, it's easy to say oh, I would never do that. No, everyone will do that. That's just how the trade works. So what would be solution? One thing that could happen, and it is kind of almost easy. Every country should have a captive breeding program of all the species that you can find in their in their country. For example, that's how. I will soon get uh, Brachypelma smithy, the real smithy. Spider Shop UK are importing them together with other Mexican tarantulas directly from Mexico. There they have a captive breeding program and you can get those tarantulas legally and everybody wins. That is the thing that basically every country can do. Get the knowledgeable people, establish uh, captive breeding programs and just make the offspring available for, for hobbies to buy. That would be awesome solution and it is at least in theory, it is super easy to do, right? The other solution, you should allow certain certain breeders, the capable breeders in US and Europe, to collect certain amount of females and males from the nature and to establish species in the hobby. That way, once the species is established and the prices drop down because there is, there is now many slings available in the hobby, you can no longer generate enough profit to justify going into nature bringing tarantulas, risking getting caught and everything, it just wouldn't be worth it because the species would already be established in the hobby and the prices are not crazy. That could also in theory be easily done and I think that those two solutions would make equally good results. But this is just my opinion and yeah, it is what it is. Now, let's actually do a fun stuff. Let's open it and check it out. Now this is also one I believe Balti species. I think that since they are from Asia they probably have a bit of Hilobrahis boltiness. Hopefully that's not the case. <laughs> so first I would like to open it and get it outside so I can like do a close-ups and everything but if it starts to bolt I don't know what I will do. Let's carefully open. It is already at the entrance. Look what we have here. Oh yes guys, it is the species Biru or Birupes as it's described. You can already see a bit of bluish on the legs. This is a, a young female, so it is not a sling. Fire. <laughs> now, lid. I really don't know what to expect from this species. Here, catch cups. But hopefully we won't need them. Maybe I should first make the... Yeah, let me just grab substrate see a lot of substrate is what we need and maybe a cork bark tube to give it like a starting point so this is kind of really big tube but yeah it should work now how to approach the situation <laughs> first i would definitely like to see how bulky it is but the way it is standing in front that is not a good sign here comes nothing uh... Oh no, oh no, oh no. Look, the legs are already outside. Oh, yo, yo, yo. I'm not a fan of this. I just wanted to start bolt to see how fast it goes. Yeah, go. Oh yes, of course. You see? <laughs> but it looks like you cannot climb the plastic. Hello, little pretty tarantula. How are you? You see, it falls down. Yeah, definitely cannot. Oh, awesome. Let's exploit this. Oh, just as on pictures. So beautiful. Ooh, this thing is lit. I really didn't expect that there is so much blue on the legs. I thought that that is just a flesh, a hard flesh. So that's why they look like that. But they really look super pretty. And you see, even on, on abdomen, there is a bit of blue tint. Cool. Now, how to get it in the actual enclosure? That's the trick question. Let's get it first inside of this. 
Come on, come down, come down, please. Woo. This is out of control. Can you go inside, please, and stop? No. Oh. Close call. But I'm so happy that it cannot climb. No, no, no. Just stop in. Just go inside of the. Oh. Oh, thread posture. Look at that. A tiny thread posture. <laughs> Come on. That's not. That is not okay. Whoa. She's starting to be a bit mad. Yeah, just go on the cup, please. Oh. Come on, climb it. Come on, please. Oh no. I need you to climb it. Looks like she has trouble climbing the, the plastic. Maybe she is in a remote dish. So how will we do that? Maybe go back in your old one. Okay, stop now. Okay. Let's see how this will go. Why this always needs to be hard? No. If only there was a hole here. Don't bite it, bro. It is a dead end. You need to... Yeah, stop. Like slowly now. Maybe if we wait for it a bit, maybe she will come down and slowly start moving and checking out the environment without the unnecessary bolts. Come on, it will be much better for you and me, for both of us. But thank God that she cannot climb outside of this. This would be a catastrophe if she could. What if I just take this lid? Yes. Stop there. Don't move. No. Why do you want to do that? No, 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 no. I will watch your legs. You can easily get crushed there. Move away from there. Yeah, just turn the other way. Go down. I want to remove this. And I need both hands. Is this real life? Are we done? Did I manage to do that? It looks like I did. Yes! 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 Look at it, it is inside. Now, go and enjoy. Don't be so pissed off and bolty. Why are Asian tarantulas so bolty? So yeah, that was it for this video. Sorry about the rant at the beginning. I mean, it's not rant, just, I just wanted to say. But I think that it is truth. But I could be wrong, I could easily be wrong. I'm open to all sorts of feedbacks. Feel free to write down if you think that I, I don't have a good knowledge about something or I said something wrong. I don't know everything, but this is just my opinion. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel even more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Fridays. So see you again soon. Bye!